been a long time um, since I've done one of these blog posts. But um, here it goes. A lot has happened. I haven't, sp I haven't spoken to y'all in a minute. But um, life just sometimes, I don't want to say get in the way, but life happens. One of the, th one of the things that happened is got a new job that pays more. So that's been great. But while all that's going on with the job, I'm still been running races. I think the last time I talked to y'all, I was preparing for the book and a half. I'm just going to recap the races that I've missed. Did the book and a half. That was an experience in itself. It rained all race long. It like, from the time I started to the end, it just, it, it was an amazing race. And I did a good time. I think I ran 2.09. I really think I could have ran better. I went to the bathroom a couple of times. So, I'm going to try to run a race again next year. Hopefully, knock on wood, the weather will be great. But, um, in the midst of that, I was also doing uh, Runner's World Run Street, where you run a mile from Memorial Day, a mile or more from Memorial Day to the 4th of July. Did that, and in the midst of that, I had like four races in that streak to kind of keep me motivated. The Forest the little forest park race which is my race team the queen's 10k and the cypress hill cemetery race and the fourth of july race was the end of that i want to go to the cypress hill cemetery race which is a very strange race i think i talked about it i ran it like two years ago where there's a race inside of a cemetery and it's very hilly and it's a smaller race i think there's about 150 people there in that race, I won first place in my age group. Well, you know, so whether or not, I mean, it's a medal well earned because it, that, that course is tough. I think everybody should get medals for even completing that race. But um, in the midst of that run streak, I ran like 81 miles in like 37 days. And it's important because like, I love running. We all love running. Sometimes you can, you can, you can kind of get into a rut where you just, you know, I don't know what it is, you, whether you, you don't stop running, it's just you kind of get into a rut. You know, sometimes you run these same races, same courses, you just need something new that kind of energize you. And the run streak energized me, and now I'm in the midst of marathon training. I did week one. This is going to be an experiment because I've never ran a full marathon. And my first full marathon, I kind of wanted it to be something easy, something flat, but I live in New York City. So why not the New York City Marathon? Like I said before, lucky enough I got in, so now I'm training for that. First week went smooth, somewhat. I got to the... Uh, <laughs> Saturday was supposed to be a rest day, but um, road runners have this um, training race. They have three training races, a 12-miler, a 15-miler next month, then a the month after that, an 18-miler, all in Central Park. And I did the 12-miler, and it, this was like the first time I ran double digits since the Brooklyn half. You know, I was doing five miles, six miles, eight miles, but never ten. And my legs were shot at the end of the race. It, 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 they were gone. So, I've got a lot of work to do. You know, but it's going to get done. I know what I have to do. I'm going to just do it. i got to probably possibly join a gym or do some weight training, do some more long-distance running kind of get my legs back in shape and you know mind you I was on three hours sleep because my hours are like from four to twelve and the race was at seven and I was 15 minutes late so I could didn't have a time to kind of relax but the other training races are going to be on Sunday so I can kind of ease into it or whatever and another thing I 
kind of hate running around in circles. Central Park is a beautiful park. But just to run around in circles, sometimes it's, I don't say it's tedious, but I got my music on like always, but it's still, you've got to remain focused to do that. And I think the next time, the train that races 15 miles, I think that's three times around Central Park, and that means three times I got to go up Harlem Hill, which is a very killer hill, but it'll prepare me for the marathon because the finish line is in Central Park, so I got to look at it like that. Like, this is just good, you know, training for me and my legs and my breathing and all that or whatever, so... Yeah, I'm going to be doing marathon training. And, wow. So, I've been picking everybody's brain who's ran the marathon before. And I was, and I was asked them, what, what's the toughest borough? What's this? What's that? Or anybody who's ran a full marathon. I always ask them, you know, what should I do? Or how should I train? Or just, you know, because I've never done it before. And, um... They all say, like, around mile 20, you're going to hit a wall. I'm trying to avoid that, but I never ran that far before in my life. So, um, I'll see what this wall is going to entail. I know the first time I did a half, I hit a wall around miles 8 or 9. Where it just, you just was in a rut and your body was just like, mm -mm, not going to do it anymore. But... Now that I now that I had a couple of half marathons, you know, un, under my belt, I don't have to worry about that wall anymore. Um, what I was thinking about, like, it's weird because now that I got this new job and I'm paid a little bit more than I did with the previous job, the first thing I was thinking about, and maybe it's just a runner's thing, like, wow, now I can kind of like, you know, run more races out of the state because that's something I got playing in the back of my mind of r running races you know out of New York or whatever you know like one of my bucket list races is the uh, rock and roll race they got out in Vegas where they run the strip thinking about that for next year and I want to run Philadelphia I hear great things about you know the races Philly got they got a bunch of races I would like to run and, you know, I got some friends out in Baltimore, Maryland. They got some great races. Because when you live in a city, like I said before, you run these races. I've run Central Park so many times. You know, I don't want to say it gets boring, but you just want, you know, new challenges. There's nothing wrong with that. So, but that's on the back burner. I just got to complete this, um... Marathon. I gotta show you something real quick. When I, when I ran this race, the 12 miler, they gave us these um socks. It's the furthest I've ever ran it and not receive a medal. These cool like marathon socks. I didn't wear it for the race per se because they were new and. I don't want to be uncomfortable while running 12 miles. You know, kind of want to break the socks in and whatnot. Speaking of socks, I can show y'all, because a lot of cool things happen to me. Hold on, let me pause it. I am back. A lot of cool things happen to me. Um, I've been so lucky. Um, I go on Twitter a lot. I met Bushwick Keith. And um, I won a couple of contests. For some sneakers. Here is one Under Armour, very comfortable sneaker. Very, very. I don't like the fact that it's white, but biggest can be choosers. But they are super comfortable, super light. Show you the other one that I won. Also Under Armour. I like that it's black. The only problem with this is um, I gotta wear longer socks because um, this thing right here kind of cut into my ankle a little bit. I had a little bruise, but I'll live. But um, yeah, I gotta wear longer socks with that one. And this one, 
I've never owned a pair of Brooks. Very comfortable. Might be the sneaker I might go with to run the New York City Marathon because if you're going to be on your feet for that long, you want to be comfortable. So these might be the winners to kind of get me through this marathon. Like I said, I'm lucky. You know, you just put your name in the hat and, you know, you lucky enough I win or whatever. So, yeah, go me. Or so and just in time and these things came just in time for my marathon training so yeah go me um other than that that is about it um didn't want to be on here too long I think I talked about everything I want to talk about try to do this monthly and just to kind of clue you in on how my marathon training is going and whatnot. Like I said, this is week one. I'm about to go on a week two. I got a lot of upcoming races coming up soon. Next week, I got a five mile at Central Park. It's a team championship, which is kind of cool where um, you get to represent your race club. And I love my race team, Forest Park Runners. Very cool, relaxed running group. Get together every Friday, Saturday. No, I'm sorry, every Saturday, su Sunday. At Forest Park, 8 o'clock on a dot. If you want, if you live in the city or if you're visiting, you can come. You can run with us. Very cool, relaxed group. It's one of the, the best decisions I've ever made joining the run club. And then the week after that, I have um, a 5K in um, Brooklyn. The best stuff 5K. And that's going to be cool because there's a lot of friends I know black man run is hosting that so i know a lot of people on that on black man run so that's going to be kind of a, like a kind of a cool thing to run with them and i saw the medals from last year the medals were really nice so you know a medal's not a bad thing after 5k and i hear that the course is pretty flat so to go for pr or to not we'll see how i'm feeling that day that race is on saturday like I said before, I get over 12, but being that the race is kind of local, I don't have to travel far, so I should get in a nice, good five hours of sleep. All right, let me get out of here. I'll see y'all later. Run happy, run healthy.